believe we're down to are you guys both are you guys still on the winter side or losing side all right so they this is uh we're down to probably the last four on the winter side i don't have a bracket in front of me it's on a digital pool site so if uh you guys want to check that out and somebody wants to be nice enough to copy a link into our comment section that'd be fantastic I'll put you guys on the side camera. We got Tony Robles playing. Um, we got, well, you can't really see it. It's the table that's cut in half. We got Tony Robles playing Anthony Maglino. I'd love to see that one on the stream table. But they had TK up there instead. So, is this the first rack? All right. Looks like uh, Justin Toy has the first rack. First break. He's got a solid break and he can see the one ball. Justin's been playing great. He won the um, the finale at Rax last year. At the end of the season, a couple months ago, he's been playing great. Just picked up a new sponsorship with uh, Jam Up Apparel. Boy, that ball jumped off of that rail. That ball hit that first rail and just flew. It went airborne. What do you need, a piece of chalk? Justin. Tell him, tell him I'll give him, i get him a piece. Oh, never mind. All right, Justin went to fetch a piece of chalk. We got Bobby Garza playing Norm uh, Klinkosh on the table above us. I actually just ran short on playing Bobby. We were double hill. Uh, made a few nice shots, got down to the eight ball, and I came up about an inch and a half short on the ball. And consequently, I dogged the eight ball, so Bobby beat me double hill to move on. He pulled a fantastic shot on the eight ball to, to get out, so... Johnny Billy. Yeah, yeah TK's uh, complimented that Andy's Claus. So if you're listening, Gary Lucchesi, he's, uh, he's one of our sponsors here. He's pushing that Andy's Cloth. So TK just walked over and told me what a great, how good they're, how well they're playing. So <clears throat> if you're out there, Eastern Billiards, Tommy Kennedy approves. <laughs> All right. TK approves. TK FLA approves. <laughs> uh, it looks like that four ball's a little tied up. I'm not sure how he's going to be able to get on this one. Ooh. The first game? Uh, yes. Yes. I was going to say, all right, he uh, got a good hit and left him straight across from the four for Justin Gilson in. Uh, 
both of these guys are absolute grinders. Either one of these guys go to the B side, they both just uh, grind it out and catch a gear. They are two of the most dangerous people in Florida on the on the B side. Them and uh, I'll throw uh, Trenton White in there too because I, I you get Trenton on that B side. They're like freight trains going downhill. They they won't be stopped. Justin showing off his new sponsored shirt, the Jersey Devil with Jam Up Apparel. He's got a couple other sponsored logos on there with Kamui and Jacoby. Kid's going to be doing big things. He keeps his head on straight and keeps on shooting. Okay. This is He's got a nice nine ball shot to take the first game of this set, one nothing. And it is Justin Gilson's break. Justin Toys up 1 0, race to seven here. Nine balls on the spot. Again, let's give our sponsors a shout out with East Gary Lucchesi and Ruth Lucchesi with Eastern Billiards. Uh, as you just heard Tommy Kennedy come over and say how well this. These uh, tables are playing. He didn't realize that they were Andy's cloth, so um, they're a big hit. It's Andy's cloth. That's what we put on over at Racks. Also, in my home billiard hall. Um, he's also press, pushing the Howe products. We got Stitch It to Me Embroidery with Mickey Quayer. Kamui products, Jacksonville Roofing USA. Can't forget our title sponsor, Predator. And we have our write-ups done by AZ Billiards. And just like that, Justin Gilsonen makes quick work of this rack to tie it up at 1-1 with the carom off the two ball. 1-1 makes very quick work of that rack. Man, I go away for five minutes. It's already 1-1. Holy oh, cow. Yeah. Go away for ten more minutes, and we're going to be done with this set. I don't. I don't think uh, either of these two players are known for their slow no, play. No. You know, and I was just talking about that. Whenever, if either, if and when one of these two get to the B side, either one of these two are, are some of the most dangerous people in Florida. They get on a roll on a B side, and they just start rolling like a train downhill. Yep. All right. So Justin's going with that uh, that one diamond outbreak. Justin Toy. I guess I have to say toy. TK in his last match, he tried every break. Did he? How, yeah. None of them worked, I take it. Uh, the, finally, the cut break started working for him. I wanted to check out this angle with camera two here. I wanted to see if he had a little bit of angle. So it looks like he. Yeah. Looks, oh, he's jacking up like he's straight in. So he must going to be putting a he power draw on it. Does he get out far enough to still see the two? I'm going to go with no, and I think he's going to get a little bit shorter of a cue on this next shot. Yeah, looks like he's going to go airborne here. Tony's moving another, moving again. So I don't know what just, I don't know what uh, Anthony has, but I know that Tony yeah. just got to four. Yeah, I wish that one was on stream. That'd be a great one to talk about. Right. I like this well, kick. This kick. This kick. Uh, I, almost no matter what. Well, you know, you, you almost know, no you know, matter what. If you hit the two, you're going to come out yeah, safe. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know what would help though, if if we had another camera yeah. to have two streaming tables, okay. and that all comes from donations. Yep. What a nice little hint that was there, Brent. <laughs> I tell you what, buddy, you are smooth. <laughs> I like that whole donation talk there, Brent Morellis. There is a there is a link on there that or I don't know if I should say a link, but there's some info up on the screen as far as donations uh, that goes to commentating and building the stream. So anything uh, that you guys feel generous enough to send, we are greatly appreciative for that. Ooh, we flirt Ooh, with that side pocket. We flirted with that. 
Yeah, you don't want you don't want this this Justin to start um, picking up a pace. Once he picks up that pace and starts, uh, oh no, I know, starts free stroking. That I that's the only way I was able to win a couple of racks on him was to slow him down. Slow, yeah, yeah. Play you know, play a decent enough safe to where I could make him think once or twice. And because there was one rack, I broke and I scratched, and I was like, oh man, and that was over in a blink of an eye. Yeah, he's he. Uh, he knows how to win tournaments. Both of these guys know how to win tournaments, but Justin, is, uh, he's really been uh, snapping off tournaments over the past year or so. He even went up to uh, that big one up in Mississippi where they do the hundred and some thousand yes, dollar cow yes, cutter. Yes, he yes. snapped that off. Holy, I did not know that. Yep, he snapped that off. How did he only go for five something in the cow cutter? I don't know. Holy cow. Yeah, he's, he's always dangerous. There's that cut break. Yep, sending the nine over there to the corner. It's going right. to leave Justin a very clean shot on the one ball, jacked up a little bit, but he's going to have to work still to get over to the two. Yeah, I mean he's got to go. He's got to go at least two rails to get shape on the two. He's got to jack up just to get there. Ah, this is not a gimme. A little bit lower on the cue ball than we thought, though. Yeah, he can yeah. Get right in between there. See, for me, that's scary because of the scratch. That's why I don't do it. Ooh, or getting hooked on the <laughs> on the point. Are we looking at a two nine? You might be. I don't think he can see it. Can he? I don't think he can get that much. Can he get it? He must be able to. Yeah. I thought he was. Yeah, Robin. Be I agree. I agree, Robin. This is a very different match from the slow pace of the last one. These guys are rock and fire. And thank you for the call. Yes, it is, 2-1. They go too fast for us. We can't keep up on the score. That's right. We're too busy talking about donations where we forgot to hit that score up there. What's up, Gil? Yeah, Justin has Gilson and S2. Hey, guys, hit that share button. Try to help us out here. Get some viewers up here for us. All right. Two rail kick. And he got safe out of it. He's going to be able to hide it behind the six. What kind of food did you order there, uh, Brent? I got me a burger. I, had a few, I saw a few people order the burger, and it looked pretty dadgum good. So I figured I would give it a shot. I will, I'll let you try it, and you tell me, tell me, how, it, uh, tell me how it is. I will. Right down the street, there's a couple. There's a nice little. I'm a, I'm a pizza fanatic, man. I'm a, I'm a pizza junkie. So right down the street, there's a good little pizza shop. If you want to hit it on the way home, Anthony's Pizza. Okay. Literally a mile down the street, man. It's some of the best pizza. Really? Oh yeah, it's fantastic. That's good to know. I'm not in this area often, but I am always looking for a good place to eat. Me yeah. and my wife are kind of foodies. I'm an Italian guy. I love my Italian food. There used to be a little hole in the wall Italian joint up the road, but they, uh, I think they closed down the owner passed away. You would not, if you drove by it, you would not know that once you walked through those doors, it was like a little quaint Italian. It was a sleeper. They, oh, yeah, they come out with a bottle presentation, everything. But if you look at it from the outside, you'd be like, oh, my goodness. But it was a little, it was a little sleeper. I love those places. Oh, yeah. I love those places. It was all family. So you would have a, 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 a crew of about four or five different servers. It was all family. One, you know, the dad would come out of the wife, uh, you know, all wow. the way down the line. They each had their own little thing that they did. Can't remember the name of it, but they closed. So I'm jibber jabbering about food. You got me hungry. Now I can't. I'm thinking about all the different places to eat. It's time to eat. All right, back to the game. I'd like to get a score Coach update. Lissert, he's going to play safe here. He's got to be playing safe here. Yeah, I think he might. I was thinking he might cut that and shoot with Lottie inside and come up into that four ball. Look at you go. A little two-way. Wow. I'd like to get a score on this Anthony uh, Robles match. I'd like to see what the score is over here. Wow. Oh, boy, Anthony just drilled a jump shot. He just drilled a jump wow. shot. Wow, full table. table jump shot and drew it back. Wow. I was going to say like it was his job, but it kind of is, so I can't really say that. Uh, dude, he just, yeah, he drilled a full table jump and drew it back half table. Unbelievable. 
I like that shot, Justin, just played that four on the side rather than trying to roll all the way down table for the five on the opposite side. I think he's going to draw it back for the six going into the side. He's got to watch he doesn't draw it into the side, yeah, in the, exactly. depending on what angle he has. Oh, he'd never. Yeah, he, he had no angle. angle at yeah, all. he was good. He likes to play the bottom side of the ball. He plays the bottom side of the ball all the time. Yes, he does. You know, whenever I was younger, I used to play the bottom side of the ball. For some reason now, um, I've learned to start rolling the ball more. Yeah. And I'm not sure which way is the right way or the wrong way. The only reason I switched to uh, to going to rolling the ball more is because of these tables. You know, back in our day, Brent, we played oh. on the valleys. Yeah, exactly. And you the could valleys, miss you yeah. could miss three diamonds up and still and make still make it. it exactly. And we had to spin the ball so much, so now because it's like playing on a gra grass field. Yeah. So now, whenever I play, whenever I started, you know, I quit for 14 years. I came back, and now we have these diamonds with the tight pockets, and it's a whole new game. So it's fast. Yeah, and and, and I figured I, I learned the hard way that if you keep if I keep draw, you know spinning the ball or hitting low, I kept just rattling it, and so I started rolling the ball. And, you know, whenever I wasn't confident, I started rolling a bit. I've been getting back to hitting a little a little bit more low. Just spits the ball out if it hits it hits anything on the way in. Gets that little shimmy in the pocket. Yeah. yeah and on that six ball that he, that he drew out of, I would have played the seven in the opposite side and just rolled up the table with the six and came back down. Uh, but uh, he, he likes that bottom side of the ball. And you know these young guns, man. They're so confident. The, you know, the with fear, us. being so fearless. Yeah. Oh my God. With us, we probably roll and stuff because we just think of taking an easy way. You right. know, from point <laughs> A is, to that is definitely true. For taking me. point A to point B, you know. That's it. All right. Looks like. Kind of like flying your airplane, Brent. You, I'm sure you do. Every, you just go point A to point B. You oh probably, no, we try to make it difficult sometimes too. Yeah, I mean, you don't fly right through the middle of a hurricane, do you? you no, go out and no, it. we don't do that. All right. Tr Brent is Brent is a highly skilled airline pilot. For those of wow. you that don't know, you're playing a fast and loose with highly skilled there, but I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's. That looks, cut on the one ball with that block pocket was good yeah and now it's just not quite academic that six eight is still well he just gave himself a perfect yeah, angle he just gave himself a shot on it now yeah i love watching uh watching them these high level think their way through yeah yeah two three balls further than most people yeah. think hit that a little softer than i thought i thought he was going to come into it See, Sorry. I thought he, I thought he was too, but he kind of, he wanted to just hold up and and make the six and the yeah. side or down table. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about blasting it, but I thought you'd come into it because you're coming into that that side. I, I don't know, man. I kind of like hitting it a little bit harder and coming into it, at least spread it out a little bit, you know. All right. I think Justin's favorite to make this bank. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Is he gonna slide it to the nine, the eight of me? Nope. Oh, I think he wanted to skim the I eight think ball, he wanted to hit it, yeah. push the eight ball down. Yeah, it's so that's so hard to focus on trying to do too many things, man. The main objective is to make the ball. And Did that look like it skipped off his. Cue? Tell you what, no, tell no. you what, it's, it did, it's, it's skipped, perfect. It skipped, it skipped directly perfect. behind that nine ball. I know that. <laughs> that's exactly right. So he's probably hey, going to want to want to go. Come thin on the eight ball and push the cue ball right back up, just like uh, hit a Is little bit too full. But Is he's he still going to get. No, nah, he didn't. He just hit it just a hair too full. Yeah. He wanted to skim it and come right back up table. Well, you saw how the cue ball spun on the cloth. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually had a little masse in the beginning, and whenever it hit that rail, it slid down the rail. Yep. These faster cloth, these pro style cloths like the Sandy's cloth, they're, uh, they they'll do that. It's slick. Um, what is going on here? Hey, he was hey. blocked a little bit. Beautiful yeah. shot. Oh, that was a full table jump cue. That I mean, a full, a full not not full table, cue. full 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 cue, full yeah, cue jump cue. is what I meant. Yes. Yeah, he hit that with his BK rush. Nikki walks in. Oh yeah. 
All right. And there we go. This goes up three to two. Justin Gilson and well, as fast as these guys are, we'll take a quick second. Go ahead and say thanks to our title sponsor, Predator. The other sponsors, Jameson Daniels, Eastern Billiards. Gary's in the chat. He just said hi. Howdy there, Gary. Oh, Gary my God. Dude, I didn't mean to cut you off. I've left out Jameson Daniels about three or four times, and that guy is he is that guy is unbelievable for what he does for Florida Pool. And actually, he's on the JIC sponsor now, I saw. Oh, he is? Uh, yeah, I just saw him. He's sponsoring for uh, um, Oscar Dominguez oh, to, nice. to host the JIC tor tournament out there. Oscar's one of my favorite pros. Yeah. I love Oscar. Yeah, and Jameson Daniels, one of my favorite people. <laughs> he is a good dude. We, I didn't even know him. We started playing on nine foot at racks one time, and uh, we just played, you know, I don't know how many games, a handful of games. And uh, we had a good old time. That was the first time I ever met him. Yeah, he's Just solid. Blind, walk up and start playing a guy. You know how you know you're a good dude is is uh, the man wants zero uh, acknowledge. He doesn't want to be acknowledged. He just does it from the kindness of his uh, uh, of his soul. He doesn't. He wants no kind of uh, you know acknowledgement for for donating. Great jump. He would win cues and all that last year during the donation part, and he would uh, he would just donate it right back. Yeah, yeah, he did actually because he won many one. times. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he used to buy so many, so many tickets and and just donate it right back. So it's solid, and you don't hear about that type of stuff. Oh my goodness, I got to go check out what the score is. I'm going to be right back. But yeah, I'm looking at check Tony. it out. I'll I'll carry you here. So we're we're at three two here, and uh, looks like Justin Toy is going to be thinking this one over for for a few minutes. A little bit of a pickle. It is now Hill Hill of Tony Robles and Anthony McGlina. What's the score? It's Yeah, it's Hill Hill. Uh, okay. Robles was down like three racks, and now he's got it back to Hill so Hill. Yeah, Holy cow. That camera over. I'll just stick my finger in and go like this. What, what do you mean? I'm not excited. I was going to go through my zipper. <laughs> This is the slowest rack that they've played with all these safety battles back and forth. Oh, you got Gary Lucchesi uh, commenting to you. I don't think he hit him behind that. I, I, I think he I think he failed to... Yeah, I said hi to him. Oh, you did? I just saw it. I think he uh, failed to get behind the ball so he can see the three. I just don't know what he's going to do with it. You think he's going to make it in this, back, in this bottom corner? Oh, he, should be able, corner? he should be able to make it. Oh, no. Oh, it, no. It wow. wouldn't go on that side. Oh, man, my eyes are shot. And, and Not necessarily an intentional two-way, but it wound no, up being see, a two-way. I, I do not like jumping this at all. Not, I mean, not one, not one single bit do I like jumping this shot. You like kicking it? Yeah, especially oh. with the four right there at the pocket. Yeah. And then, now it's an elevated hand jump. Yeah, if he makes it great, great. Oh my I goodness. mean, I love jumping that shot. You'd <laughs> have you to know, be. A that's knuckle. really the only shot you had is yeah, to jump it. I didn't see anything else. You'd have to. I mean, you could that's one rail or two rail, it. but you're not going to leave yourself anything. Yeah. You know, if you jump that like that, Brent, you have a good shot afterwards. Yep. Yeah, I gotta agree. Yeah. It actually looked to me like he was right against that that seven ball. I didn't. I don't know how he got in between there, but I mean, what a fantastic that, that shot. floating hand jump. Is hard. Yeah, well, you it, have to have such control. You get old like old like me, and and I don't want to say you because I the think you still have a little bit of pride. The yeah, hands the hands start oh, shaking no. and the I eyes are bad. We're right around the same age. Yeah. yeah. It's not. A, it's not. It's not the years. It's the miles, my friend. That's right. Justin's waiting for Maglino on the side table. 
Yeah, Justin's uh, Justin just holding off to to give way to Anthony since they're double hill over there, and uh, it's good sportsmanship. Yeah, that's how you know good growth out of a young man. This is an important shot. Oh, uh, Anthony dogged a shot, and he scratched. scratched. All right, so you got an open table on the other table. Hill, hill. Gave ball in hand to Tony Robles. Yeah, Tony's got a wide open table with ball in hand on a two ball. Meanwhile, Justin just uh, hooked himself, donkeyed himself behind a seven. One rail kick. And you want to hit on the, the north side of the six ball, just like that, to create some space if you hit it rather hard, but you really want to create that space. We couldn't have left him any better either. Yeah, no, this is, this is right there. Yeah. Huh? That's a good jump shot you had earlier. Oh, that that floating hand jump shot. We were talking about that one, but I understand that off the. Yeah, yeah. That looked like it kind of slid right. off the rail to fall behind the seven. Okay, he's got to clean up three more balls to go up four to two and move on to play for the king of the hill, I believe. I think he looks like right. he's we'll going to look at the bracket. Yeah, check it out. It's on digital pool. If somebody wants to uh, share that down to us on the comments section. That would be absolutely fantastic. Digitalpool.com. That's right. a pretty cool site too, man. It gives you uh, player stats. If you if you go up on the top right on the bar and you scroll all the way to the right, it can actually tell you what Fargo level these we're all shooting at. So it tells you if you're playing over your Fargo, under your Fargo. Uh, did you know that? I did not yeah, know that. So I need to go and see we'll check, I was. Yeah, it tells you uh, tells you what Fargo. For example, Casey's standing next to me. He's a 606. It shows him as playing at a 679 Fargo right now. You're Derek, right? I am Derek. Okay. Thanks. You said you're not. You like... Oh, I go by Brent. Brent? Yeah, so it's Derek Brent. Oh, okay. So most people don't know me as that. Yeah, so... Um, so on there, on that site, there's a bunch of different things that uh, that you can do. And, and like I was saying, the, the guy next to me is he's a 606 Fargo, but I, I just looked on there. He's playing as a 679 Fargo today. Oh yeah. man, I gotta see that. I'm curious now as to how how far under mine I was playing, under and or over. I believe they have me as a different name, so mine's not showing. <laughs> this is not. Yours is, isn't? No, they have, is, is a, they have my name spelled wrong, so. They didn't have you have Jimmy? What the have you? Is Hollywood? I ain't telling. Okay. Sounds good. It's under, uh, so, so right here, if you, up in the blue, if anybody's on digitalpool.com and you want to see the, the, the scoring and all that, up where it says uh, overview, bracket, live scoring, if you hit the arrow all the way to the right and it says performance, you click on performance, and then it tells you their rating. So, for example, Tommy Kennedy is playing as an 821 right now. Oh, wow. Tony Robles is playing as an 810. Justin Toy is playing as a 719. Casey Donnie is playing as a 680. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That is very cool. Keep scrolling. Let's see where I am. Where are you at? Uh, where is Mr. Morales Raymond Linares is playing as a 553 today, so he's Ooh. not doing real well. He needs to pick it up. Uh, there I am. Oh, look at me. Where I played at? low. Yeah, 415. And I, and I, 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 I won. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure how accurate this is then. I'm not even going to tell you what Anthony Maglino's, what his uh, yeah, show Yeah, that can't is. be right. Yeah. No, there's no way. I didn't like mine, so I'm going to go ahead and say it's no yeah, way. Yeah, I agree with you. So. It's not a big enough uh, data pool for an individual because I've never been on it before. All right, so back to the match. Yep, so the winner of this will play. Uh, we're a little bit behind on a Maglino Robles. So the winner of that plays Tommy Kennedy. Uh, yeah. Let me give you guys a rundown. So Anthony and Tony, the winner of that's going to go directly back up against Tommy Kennedy. Then the winner of that match will play the winner of this match for King of the Hill. So these are the last five in it. Some way, somehow, Anthony Maglino's back at the table over there shooting a seven ball. 
He has a shot on the eight ball, and Anthony's about to clean up Tony Robles. Tony had ball in hand on the two ball, double hill. Yeah, he missed um, on the three over there. Oh, and he did? Miglino's, yeah. Miglino's oh, wow, been. so he had ball in hand on two, and he missed the three? Yeah, wow. but it was a long travel. Oh, that's right. The three was on the bottom rail. Yeah. All right, so Anthony has a straight-in shot about three inches away, so he's going to go ahead and, and take care of that match against Tony Robles. And Anthony moves on, so nope, nope, Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I, oh, Brent said they were double. I was wrong. Now it's Actually, hill. No. My bad. Okay, now they're hill hill. My bad. Brent's bad. Brent's bad. He went over and checked the score and checked it wrong. Now they're double hill. And Anthony well, McGlino talking, is. Though. Justin's yeah. been doing really good work on this And table. Anthony's breaking. Yeah, well, you know, you know, uh, Brent, we're trying to we're trying to please the people, my friend. We're trying to take care of everybody. The viewers at home, we want to make sure they they have the full effect, just like they're here, Brent. All right, Justin's got himself a nice, uh, nice as in difficult. She's made cut several into good the shots side. This rack. Just got a stun draw this straight back down for the nine ball. And he will be. All right. Let's see if Justin can close this one out. Oh, you know it. it off a little bit. He knows it, but now we got a 3-4 match. You know at our home table, that ball doesn't fall. So 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three. here we go. These tables are pretty forgiving here. A lot more for Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll agree. The pockets are definitely a little more forgiving, and, and you're right. And they're sliding in with that, uh, you know, the, with that, that newer cloth here. Yeah. But, um, that, that ball doesn't fall at Rex. Okay, four three. Justin Gilson and is up. This is a race to seven. Great Anthony squat just on missed that cue ball. Anthony just missed the one squat. ball over there, double hill. So I feel like we're right back, kind of what we were last game. Anthony missed the one ball into the side, double hill against Tony Robles. These two, I've seen them miss more like, this match against each other. Yeah. I agree. You know, they're both from the same area. They're both from down in Miami now. Tony moved from New York down to Miami, so maybe they have, like, a little competitive thing going with each other and they want to beat each other so bad. That is actually probably true. I told Bobby Bobby G that's what happened to me. I, I, I came up an inch short on that eight ball, and then I dogged the eight ball, which I should have made, and I, I looked over and I was like, you know, I just want to beat you so bad I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great shot by uh, Justin. Went around three rails to get shape on the two. Yeah. Do you like do you like going into the five ball right here and then coming back out for the do four? You, or do you just accept the five seven combination? Now I, I think with this angle he can come off of the right side of the the north side of the five ball and come back out for the four. It, and He's again, just gonna accept it. Yeah, and again, I'm sitting over here, and it's hard to see with the with the angle that I'm at. But I I thought he could have just rolled it into the five and come off. Sometimes you end up worse than what, like you said, he's just going to accept it and shoot it. I don't know if that's the angle he wanted to make that 5-7 combination. But. That's where he pointed at. So the speed's probably going to come for the nine. We'll see. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, mm. I kind of, if he had the angle on that three ball to, to just roll it into the side of the five and come back out, that way you kind of break him out and carry him. It looked to yeah, me like that was the angle was close he had. enough to that side to where you would think that you'd yeah, get a shot. Yeah, really. I mean, as long That's as game. Tony Robles beats Maglino. Oh, uh, they gave, they gave, did you see him give a bro hug to each other? Yeah, so they are, they, they, they are pretty good friends, I think. They have that competitive battle. Oh, uh, that looked like a bad hit to me. I don't think so. Yeah, that was a bad hit. All right. All right, 
Justin Gilson has ball in hand with three balls to go. Looks like we're looking at a 5-3. Yep. Five three it is, and it is Justin Toy's break. So on the table up above, we got Bobby Garza playing the dock. Which is seems to be his new nickname, even though he's not a doctor. Again, guys, if you are in the Central Florida area looking to get that Andy's cloth, which is what we are shooting on. You know, I'm from what I understand, Predator Factory got flooded in Germany uh, last year. So, you mean the Simonis? Simonis. See, Brent, I'm telling you what, buddy. That's why <laughs> you're. For you, buddy. That's why I'm you're. For that's you. why you're a pilot. And I'm not. You pay attention to detail. <laughs> you pay attention to to all that stuff. Thank you, sir, because that was bad, me uh, me saying that about the title sponsor. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely was a predator. Definitely was Simonis is what I was talking about. So, yes, yeah, so um, if I understand correctly, Simonis got flooded out in Germany. And, um, you know, we have been pushing the Andes a lot. And Andes plays every bit of as good as, as uh, Simonis, if not better. Yeah, and that's, that's, the, that's the, um, the draw to him is the play is, is a good – but the price point. The price point. Yep. So for the average person who has a home table, this is something you could actually replace more often. Mm -hmm. Have that new table, that new table feel longer. Yeah, and uh, you know, I you know Mike House, Mike House has oh, yeah. has been doing pool tables for for ever, and so is Gary, and they were both saying that if you, it's on the bar tables that Andy seven something is the absolute best uh best bang for your buck and the best uh cloth for the for the seven foot table so um definitely if you're looking to get your pool table recovered check out uh gary lucchesi at eastern billiards meanwhile you know, I was saying earlier gary's probably forgotten more about reclothing tables than most people yeah. ever knew yeah right and i have yeah, to make my house actually and I have to make a correction a little, little, uh, little while ago. I said, uh, a little while ago, I professional said, foosball players. Yeah, we got the foosball crew in. A little while ago, I said uh, Gary originally being from New York, he's from Boston. And if there's one thing I've learned, you don't confuse Boston people and New York people. <laughs> that is a very true statement. He was very quick to get it, correct me on Facebook, so I, I appreciate that, Gary, and I apologize. All right, five four. Yep. Justin Toy scrapping along. He is I grinding. Like I'm looking at Justin. Justin looks like he's got a little bit of renewed vigor. He's got that serious look. Yeah, he does have that serious look. He was looking over at us and smiling and stuff a little earlier, but now he's just uh, he's not looking at us at all, and he's dead serious. So. It's a nice cut break. Cut break. He set the uh, set the one into the side. He has the nine ball directly into the pocket. He has a good shot on the uh, two two seven. It looks like I, I, that does look like the better shot. The two seven looks like it goes. He's going to leave that two right in that pocket. Oh no! Did he get it? Is that two still there? It looks like it is, and and the cue ball is going to be moving the right direction to get back on that three. So, just got to kind of swing at this one. He's, he's, yeah, let the cue ball do Think he job. can get past that six ball though? I think so. I really do because he's going to be hitting it so thin. I think it'll get past that six. I'll tell you what, he's not going to have a lot of room to spare, and he didn't. He didn't have a lot of room, and it bit so well off that end rail. Oh, look at that cue ball. Did you roll see off. it? Did you see that it? Cue ball rolled, yep, right to the, you see that? The cue oh, ball. Yeah. Oh, really? That cue ball almost did a U-turn right there. 
Justin Toy saying that's what happened to him on a 5-6 a little bit ago. Well, even though it was still a little more favorable, I don't think he's got a shot. I still think he's got a kick at it. Oh, no. He's going to glance off of it. He's going for that nine ball. He's going for that nine ball. What a shot what that a was. Shot. What a shot. Going for it. My goodness. Wow. It was it was sitting in there dangerous. Hmm? It was sitting in there dangerous, yeah. ready to fall. So that was a good break by Toy. Made three on the break. Although I'm not sure what he's got here on the uh, the two nine three. Got that safe. Got that safe. Not sure I like that safe that much. He just made that that corner pocket bigger. 2-9 at a kick is a very possible shot. And as Justin comes and sits down, he looks over and smiles, thinking the same thing. Yeah, he's thinking the same thing. So we'll see what happens if Justin, uh, if Gil Gillis Gilsonen Gilsonen goes for it. But we're going to see a pretty good shot here, I imagine. That nine ball has got a good chance of going in off that three. Oh, oh boy, that was oh, very, very close. And he scratched. Rot row. That was that was very close. Yeah, uh, Toy saw the same thing whenever he shot that shot. He saw that it could go, and so he came back smiling, thinking, "Nope, that's it. I just gave away the farm." But he's back at the table. He needs to make something out of it now. Yeah, Chris, wow. Uh-oh, did he get there? Yeah, he's fine. He's he's all right. I think he's all right. Let's go ahead and check he out the other camera. Fine. Yeah, he's all right. He can draw straight back. He's on the... Nice stroke on this one. Ooh, we got Orlando Dixon playing Maglino over here on the uh, B side. Orlando's playing Maglino. So if I'd beat Orlando, I'd be playing Maglina. Oh, holy cow. Well, Maglina dodged a bullet there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Justin's about to go six to five. He took it. It was given to him. Gilson and gave it up. Toy now J five six. J Toy. The Jersey Devil, sponsored by one of our sponsors, Kamui Products. There's a lot of good products out there, if we're being honest, but one of the most consistent, I yes. think, is Kamui. Yep. I mean, I just so consistent. Yep. I've tried many tips, and then I went back to Kamui. And However, I just bought a new queue. I got a, a Jim Pierce queue, and I'm not sure what tip is on there, but boy, do I love it. I bought it uh, newly used, so I'm not. I heard he has a stock tip that he uses. Okay, um, it's a La Pro, probably. But I tell you <laughs> what, I love it. You know, there's a couple of guys, and uh, even um, uh, Gary has said it more than once. He goes, you, you know, you get a good La Pro and you work it right. You know, you put it on right and you work it right. It's it's a good tip. Yeah. <laughs> But consistency of remember back in the back in the 90s or so it was always la pro or mori you know yeah, yeah, you're exactly you're right. you're a do top dog justin's playing right into uh, bobby's butt there all right 
Okay. This is a tough. This is a, a little bit of a tough shot that I hate. I, yeah. I yeah. always hate this shot because I, I I never know when to go. You know. I would I, at this angle. I'm a hundred percent going across to the long rail and back over. Yeah. So would I. It's just sometimes you end up wanting to just spin it and try to kill it off at a rail. Man, and did that drag from this exactly. distance. Exactly. So you catch that swerve going into the two ball. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're saying. It happens. It actually may be a little bit easier on this newer cloth, but um, but by and large. It becomes a lot more difficult. To plus, it, plus, it's such a delicate shot to do that. You end up getting tied up behind a four to six, and that's and exactly he, he what he did. did. He, he did, did well. And, he and did a did a kill shot, let it spin back, and then break. And that's why his performance is over 700 right yep. now. He's shooting those shots, yep. and he's holding it well. That was a great kill. I told him, I said, yeah, how'd you like how that cloth played? Yeah, he, he goes, over and was like, oh, did he, did he tell you guys? Yep. He, said, he was like, wow, that played really great. Yep. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. He come over and said about saying it was TK approved. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. TK approved cloth. Tommy Kennedy is still going on about the Andy's Not cloth. He, has complained about that. he went over to Janine and was talking about how, uh, how well this cloth plays, so. Check it out. I'll probably be putting Andy's on my table next at home. So Brent, did you happen? Go, go ahead. I was gonna. I was gonna ask you if you happen to see uh, Justin's new hairdo. It looks like he's grown it out. He's getting, know. A little, getting a little stylish there, isn't he? I just. I, I'm, I'm. I'm afraid of how long it's gonna get and what he's gonna do with it. Yeah, you should try. I'm that. afraid of the man you bun. You should try that, Brent. Yeah, I should. You, you yeah. Look all right. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna need some Rogaine. I'm gonna. You, huh? I'm gonna need some Rogaine, a witch doctor, and some some healing crystals to get this hair to grow back. Yeah, that's yeah, looking pretty smooth. I like that. It's a little bit of a pickle here. He's going for it. Oh yeah, with that eight ball, with that yeah, eight ball right to, in the side. He got on the wrong side of the five. Back cutting it doesn't make any sense because your cue ball is just gone. So. I think he's gonna he's gonna sink it right off of the eight ball. I mean, it's, yeah, there that, it is. that eight ball makes that a huge pocket. Hill, huge pocket. Hill, wow. come back. You know, nothing flashy. Nothing nope. flashy. Nope. Just grinding away. Just grinding and grinding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing flashy. Just grinding away, and, and next thing you know, you're double hill, and, and all the marbles right here. But that's one of my hardest things. I've been working, trying to get my mental game better. And, and you know, it's really easy to be down 6-3 and just kind of go, well, that was it. And, 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 you know, obviously he's a – this is what we mean whenever we say a strong, tough tournament player is they can keep their head in it no matter what and just keep making shots. I am – it doesn't matter if I'm playing a, a, a 300 Fargo or a 650, 670. I go double hill all the time. It, I just can't. I'm not a front runner. I can't put somebody away and step on their throat. I just I always just grind it out and come down double hill. It happens every time. All right. All right double hill. This is to uh, move on. There's a lot of a lot of money on this game right here. There's a lot of money on this game, Brent. All right. He gets he gets back on his three ball. It's, it's over. It, yeah, commentator's I, curse. Yeah. I, I said that earlier, and it went out on me. So, but I know we say that, but look, we've got the seven, the nine, the five, such a tight alley for that yeah, four but, ball. I mean, but if he got on that three ball nice and then, I mean, to lead him to the four comes right around for, for the five, I don't know. Is I just thought that this the was the, uh, I thought this. run into the nine? He is. Look at he that. Made it. Look at that. Wow. It's a great match, guys. Great match, guys. Great match.